Good morning, folks. We had a 6.2 quake in the southwest Pacific three hours before the full moon yesterday. It makes its monthly close approach to Earth today. We also had a 3.3 quake in Oklahoma. In Idaho, radioactive cesium and cobalt is being discovered on construction debris. Did you hear about this? A defunct Russian satellite is going to crash to Earth this morning, hopefully in the water. Last year on the RSOE, we had about a dozen people die in strong rainstorms in Bangladesh. This is an article about us smashing 7,500 heat records in March with all the little suns here indicating a location that hit an all-time high for the month. You may remember that we had a solar eruption two nights ago. The CME Evolution Enlil Spiral now shows the forecast track of that eruption and it could deliver a glancing blow to Earth in the next 36 hours. Here's a look at the Cosmic Ray event from a day ago. Now while this does appear somewhat ominous, I can assure you it was nothing compared to what these individual stations all registered on March 12th and 13th during the anomalous magnetopause event. Having a look at Ovation Prime, particle bombardment is high this morning after a quiet day yesterday on Friday. The BZ has tipped south here, that's the yellow uh, going below the dotted line. That disturbance is evident here on the Fluxgate magnetometer and as some very low resonance here on the induction magnetometer. We had no eruptions on the sun last night, but you see this dark coronal hole turning our way. It'll be facing us in about two days, and about three days later we will get hit with a coronal hole stream. So in about a week, the quake watch gets a little boost with that ending about a day before Saturn opposes the sun back there. That's the news, folks. Be safe.